Hello and welcome to the Pink Peony Oracle. My name is Dana and this is a reading for Gemini. You do not have to be a Gemini if you are drawn to the title of this video then there is possibly something in it for you. So Gemini, um, okay just to let you know quickly we're going through Mars retrograde and that speaks of um, we just went into it now on the 9th of September um, and nines and the Mars retrograde represent uh, the completion of a situation and by the time Mars goes direct again in November, beginning of November, we can expect um, the new cycle to begin. And I think it's very reflective in your cards. You may just need a little reminder um, of this. So a lot of the with the spread that I did is I did surround the questions around um, Mars retrograde because it's a lot of fiery energy. There's a lot of things that are needed for us that we need to know um, <laughs> that I think is important to know at this time when when there can be a lot of aggression and change going on in the world, but anyway, let me get into it, guys. So, I do have quite a few cards for you. I'm going to try and get through it quickly. They just kept flying out and flying out. <laughs> okay, so, before we start, the underlying, and this is the Mystical Shaman Oracle that I'm using, the underlying of it is this beautiful, beautiful magic card. I mean, that is just so beautiful. And I'm noticing the number 33, okay? <laughs> so funny because this card talks about not noticing the magic, the synchronicities, the things going on around you, um, seeing the magic and beauty in life. So I find that quite interesting, but it's also a very strong, um, Denote, it denotes strongly to um, like uh, source and the universe and all that is. Um, 33 is a divine number uh, what was it? of like Christ consciousness, uh, whether that is what you're into or not. Um, I think Jesus was the one that he, Jesus died or was crucified, no, didn't die, he was crucified at age 30, 33. If that means anything for anyone. <laughs> okay, then your current energies. You got two more cards from the Mystical Shaman. So I'm seeing a progression because the completion card is number nine and the corn card is number 10. <laughs> and um, basically, the completion being a number nine signifying that you know you're closing out a cycle and you're coming to the end of it and so what was really sticking out to me on the colors of the snake snakes represent transformation this card particularly represents completion um, or coming full circle after your transformation okay and the color that i'm really noticing is this yellow it, this yellow was like really staring at me and if you look here on the board the 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 arrow next to the yellow is com is pointing directly here to this like harvest corn card like all this yellow this yellow that caught it's all in this this is like and the yellow um <laughs> yellow represents uh it's your solar plexus plexus so that is willpower drive creativity expression um output like all of that stuff okay so i'm getting that you're in this completion cycle you're about to end it perhaps literally just happened and this is what you're hoping for this is i mean this is a step so this is nine ten this is working hard harvest season harvest time it's time to reap what we've sown okay and what i'm really what I'm noticing is perhaps maybe that is so crazy <laughs> underneath the magic card you have the wind 
and I just need a and the wild woman another another progression of cards um like all the sweeping sweeping changing energy and I kid you not right before my reading the right before I hit play on this camera this massive gust of wind just blew right through um, it knocked over a bunch of things outside and it's still pretty windy so I won't be surprised if you if you hear it in this video um but <laughs> what I was gonna say is if you notice the yellow on her head in in this in this it kind of looks like a light bulb it kind of looks like a light bulb because I mean like all this yellow like the yellow over there pointing there and then this being the underlying telling me that I don't know are you having trouble closing out the cycle and honoring that the cycle is closing or you completed a cycle you've completed a cycle and you're looking for the next thing and this this is this is like that uh, light bulb moment I want to say seeing the magic I want to say having this yeah like Epiphany moment probably at some point if it hasn't happened yet it might soon having epiphany about This light bulb moment. She's all lit up here in the crown chakra again telling me that this is a divinely like planted seed Okay, and it is it is harvest season How are you gonna get there? Do you have because next up the moonology card you got was you need uh, You have to have a practice your dreams need a practical plan, okay? So, which is what I was just about to ask. Do you have a plan to get from 9 to 10? Do you have a plan to get from closing out the cycle to go get what's, what's yours? Get what's yours, I'm hearing. Get what's yours. Notice also this, the sun. The sun at the top, it's like, it's matte, it's like the, it's illuminated from the top. Again, illuminated from the top. The sun represents like the the ultimate happiness and joy and like yes energy yes energy that's what i want to say yes energy and uh, if this is a divinely guided idea about how to move from your closing out of this current situation cycle whatever it is that's gone on for you rebirth transition point into getting this you if you can tap into the magic the universe has the answer the universe has the answer to what it is you're wanting this harvest this harvest and the, if you can tap into your intuition the magic the, you'll find it okay so sweeping change because this wound card is still shouting at me and this wild woman this is like change 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 like the winds of change i'm hearing the winds of change and this wild woman speaks of like she uh, to me it looks like she's coming out of hibernation <laughs> and she's like okay it's time it's i'm ready let's do this let's let's go let's get this show on the road um okay so that's enough about that your dreams need a practical plan don't forget that what is your plan you have a goal it is a divinely inspired idea that light bulb moment that overtook your whole head <laughs> what is the plan okay this is a full moon as well and full moons shine lights on um situations okay so have a plan use that illumination in your brain to illuminate a plan <laughs> okay so then i asked what aspect of life do you need to be more ambitious in because a lot of this mars energy is about connecting to your ambition connecting to that solar plexus that willpower that drive and you got and both of these cards came out in reverse and i don't like to take these cards in reverse so i actually flipped them but because they came out in reverse and i am remembering this now it's letting me know that you 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 aren't doing this and this is what you should be doing because they were like this so they were you were not using your intuition like the high priestess and you weren't you aren't making any sudden movements passionate movement towards your dream or destiny okay but i'm going to read them like this so that they tell you that if you harness your high priestess energy if you seek the magic if you listen to the synchronicities 
and what's going on around you and you actually tap into your feminine energy which is your intuitive receiving side where you can get conscious messages from your higher self from the divine if you just tap into that this things won't seem so elusive i want to say um and if you see here at the bottom of her sorry there's a glare at the bottom of her dress it kind of falls it like flows down it, it flows i want to say her dress flows into water it becomes the water it's telling you to access that water realm sometimes we have to tap into our emotions to discover what our passion is and then we can only move forward but once we've intuitively gone in and discovered and listened to what it is that we truly, truly desire, then we can make a passionate movement forward. Perhaps I'm getting like maybe to a foreign land. Maybe you want to move. Maybe you want to move. Yeah. And uh, with like all these the sand here, this is quick movement. This is like kicking up the dust behind you and like leaving, leaving the peasants behind. I want it. <laughs> so it's, no one's a peasant. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> okay, so, well, and this is another card to me, I read this card many ways, it talks, she, the air guardian, talks to me very often, oh, and the air, the wind, look, the wind, this is what my hair was doing, so my hair looks a bit like, oh, not brushed, because I was sitting outside, and my hair was just like, in my face everywhere, so in my face, I got so frustrated and I came inside and like had to obviously move it out my face. Maybe you need to do that too. Maybe there's so much chaos and movement and stuff going on around you that you need to find the stillness within that movement. See how this card is still, still, still. It's like movement, movement, movement. And then all of a sudden it's like in that motion of movement, your eyes lock into something. And... Yeah, in that motion of movement, your eyes lock into something. And that's where you'll find your clarity. <laughs> the message has never come through like that before. Yeah, like all this, in this, all this chaos, in all of that, you will find, you will, you will, okay, this card says shift your perception, okay? It's talking about shifting that mental state out of chaos into a moment of clarity. How you do that is you go inside, you harness this energy, okay and um the something else i was going to say about this now when the other thing i get from this card is about it's about it's a, it's important for you to um also shift into a perspective of perhaps this might get a bit esoteric but into another perhaps into shift into the timeline that you are most seeking so it's like classic manifestation um, techniques, 13, 13 on the clock. That might be something for someone. Um, so it's like standard manifestation where you, you, it all starts internally. So, and everything here is telling you to connect with your intuitive side, which means going within. And how we do that is, and how we shift, basically like imagine... Imagine a, a, like an old radio station and you have to like turn the knob until you get to the desired station that you want. And you sometimes if you're in a bit of a dodgy, windy, chaotic area, you kind of have to like tune it so finely that you, you just go from like one notch and then it's that notch. You don't like you have to just it's like the slightest shift, I want to say. The slightest shift of of perception and almost like shifting out of this current reality into another state of reality so like much like with when you go into meditation and you block out the outside world then you're in your inner world same thing except you're doing this to shift into a timeline i want to say shift into your most optimal up like positive timeline and that's i mean this this timeline shift your perspective to in, and harness your those, those um those energies to 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 become this night to be fast moving confident enthusiastic courageous and charismatic time to take action great passion for a cause instinctively knowing what to do and how do you do that how do you harness that fire 
you ha you have to find it within you first okay because um so i mean if this is what you need to be more ambitious about you maybe need to just be more ambitious about your your meditation practice and um well it's definitely i mean the harvest is yeah it's like the universe is like this is yeah for you it's yeah when you're waiting when you're ready as soon as you do the work just find some stillness in the chaos around you in the wind around you try and tune it out and tune in to the timeline that you want to see or tune in to your inner compass your inner compass yeah gonna go with that shift into that state shift into that perception okay what are you trying to control too much because mars energy is all about control and because it's a retrograde this gets amplified especially if you have aries anywhere in your chart um especially in the predominant uh, section of your chart sun moon rising um it can affect you significantly so that's why it's good to be aware of this stuff so what are you trying to control too much you have the ace of michael and you have the trader so what I'm getting from this is okay so this is swords energy obviously what this is telling me see how it kind of looks like a full card I've never got this from this card before never got this from the ace of like a full card visual from this before and aces are all about new beginnings new starts new ideas um but I think what's happening is you're trying to either control this new start. This the... Okay, you're either trying to control this new start and you're thinking too logically instead of passionately enough. Okay, one. Or... What I'm getting is you're thinking too logically about it and not tapping into the emotion of it. Um, again, like I said before earlier, so I mean, you're not tapping into the emotion of it. Um, and, and by not tapping into the emotion of it, you aren't going to find your passion in it. And then things get a bit hazy. And, and Ace of Swords is truth and clarity in a situation and perhaps you're trying to control the outcome of a situation, the, the start. Yeah, this message is a bit cloudy here now. Um, but notice again, notice again. This Ace of Michael, this guy, this fool, I want to say. He looks like the fool about to take a leap of faith. Okay? And his head is also illuminated in all that yellow. Um, and because this card is about communication and um, uh, like truth and clarity, I do feel like perhaps it is a time to clear up communication issues, perhaps with people that can help you come up with the right plan or put a plan in process in progress or um, even just by clearing up those communications, you're able to create an energy exchange and how and this card this card denotes to an energy exchange exchange creating abundance creating manifestations that you have put in place so i think also and that so that's obviously the other message um is clear up communication issues with someone so that you can create abundance have an, an equal energy exchange okay Next thing I asked was what, okay, what self-limiting belief do you need to disregard? Because um, often our self-limiting beliefs get in the way. And uh, with this Mars retrograde, uh, we, all those self-limiting thoughts and things we say to ourselves do tend to come up at this time. Um so it's important to know what they are so you can catch them in motion catch them with all the chaos and uh, correct them 
So, self-limiting belief that you have, I think, is the tail of Ariel. Obviously, this is in reverse. Uh, this is like... So, the Ten of Ariel is like the Ten of Pentacles. This is like ultimate happiness, material happiness. Like you have reached the peak of material happiness. Like again, I said travel. I don't know if you noticed there's like a, a um, uh, the Eiffel Tower. Now at a little cafe somewhere in Paris. Um, there's a lot of playful, childlike energy in this. So perhaps this was a dream that you had when you were a child. This magic card is a child. Connect back with your inner child. Go in, When you go and do all this inner work and meditate and connect and shift into that perception, ask this little you what it was that they wanted when they were little. Was it to travel? Was it to go and see the Eiffel Tower? I mean, that's beautiful. Okay? Stop telling yourself you can't have this. Okay? You can, again, because it was like, it was like a repetitive message, like um, it's time to reap rewards. This is the six of Ariel, again, the six, uh, this is like a, this is again a harvest card, an abundant equal, notice the equal, these are peaches. I'm not too sure what peaches signify, except for what I know they signify. Um, <laughs> So, again, this is more of that harvest abundant energy. You have this self-limiting belief that you, you can't achieve it. But I feel like, this is the card that came out afterwards, is, um, so I feel like you can achieve it quite easily because the universe is saying it's right here, but you have to tap in. You have to connect. You have to be, this card, the sage, talks about being devoted, being committed to a task, being devoted to that task. It also talks about devotion to a higher belief system, a higher, per why do I want to say a higher purpose? Yes, maybe it is a higher purpose. This is a higher purpose for you. Your inner child, the magic around you, the universe is trying to tell you this is a higher purpose. Go for it. Stay devoted and committed to this and stay in tune and in touch with your alignment to remain that way. This guy, this is a, he's holding a, um, a peacock feather, which is a symbol of divinity. And he's making notes and learning and writing down all this stuff, things that he's learned, synchronicities that he's seen, feelings that he's feeling, things that his inner child once wanted, all these spiritual teachings that's going on around him, he's making note of it. And he's using that to push him forward and keep him devoted and committed to his task because he knows one day he's probably going to be doing the same thing and teaching this stuff. That's why it's important for him to know this stuff, I want to say. And right above that, okay, so all of those things are possible if you remain devoted and committed. Stay in alignment. Stay in alignment with the task that that is coming directly from your soul i want to say again these sands this like travel thing this is the these are the pyramids at the bottom here and this is and like there's orion it's the it's and this is a star ancestor so this could be about like galactic origins just like checking in with your galactic gods and this is the star ancestor <laughs> you know, it talks about following the voice of your soul, following what you truly know inside to be divinely for you, divinely for you. Look at this oak. If you notice here, he's got, I don't know if it'll catch it here, but so from, from Orion, there are these like, no, surely you can see it over there. There's like numbers and symbols, like those binary um, system numbers and yeah, it is numbers. Yeah. And, um, it's like he's receiving downloads through it. He's receiving downloads through that. He's listening to his... Yeah, he's listening. Like maybe, guys, like get in touch with your guides and your spirit team and the ancestors and um, the aliens. Oh my gosh, the aliens. I wrote it down even. Oh, <laughs> so when I was listening to your pre-shuffle while I was shuffling and laying out the cards, I got... And I wrote it down. I'll even show you. Okay, please excuse my handwriting. Over there, it said, oh, it's going to be backwards. 
because I don't reverse this image. I don't reverse the mirror of this. <laughs> anyway, it's Alien by Dennis Lloyd. If you haven't heard that song, please go listen to it. It is, it is, well, Dennis Lloyd is just one of my favorite singers, so it's amazing to me anyway. Um, but it's, it goes like feeling like an alien, running around the world or riding around the world. Oh, I can't remember the rest, but go like have a look at that because maybe you're feeling like a bit of an alien in your situation and or, or, or you're alien, your ancestors, maybe you need to go to the pyramids, go to Egypt guys, like that's a dream of mine. I'm making it happen every single day. I'm putting in a plan every day. I have a new idea how I'm going to get closer to that goal. Like Egypt is where I want to be right now. Um, and Paris actually. <laughs> France, not Paris, just France. It's fine. Um, guys, this is like this is like galactic. The this card also denotes to um, uh, galactic beings being around you energetically, giving you these answers, trying to light up your brain with this information. Um, that's amazing. Okay, yes, guys, please. If you need to rewatch this video, please do just to like or make notes. Because there's such a lot of good advice here and I feel like if you follow it, you're about to have the most incredible laugh, I want to say. <laughs> oh, and the other thing that was on the bottom of the Moonology deck was Meditate and Contemplate, New Moon in Pisces. Didn't we just have a New Moon in Pisces? Or was it a full moon? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I might be very wrong. I'm probably very wrong. Don't worry about me. Um, meditate and contemplate. Find that balance, that yin and yang, like balance within you. Also, underneath that, you have the energy is gaining momentum. And underneath that, you have a new start is coming. Underneath that, you have a new romantic cycle. Step out of your comfort zone. That's enough. Your commitment to how much you want this is being tested. Look at the bigger picture. Wild. 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 Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I asked, what is worth fighting for at this time? Because obviously Mars is a warrior planet, the planet of war and aggravation and things can get violent. <laughs> okay. Anyway, fights can break out at this time. It's good to be mindful of that and just step the fuck out of that business because it's not yours. Okay. Because we want to stay in alignment. We want to stay in alignment. You guys do. You want to stay in alignment because you will be receiving cosmic downloads. Okay. What is worth fighting for in a positive sense? In the most positive sense? <laughs> the Ten of Raphael. The Ten of Cups. You now have the Ten of pentacles and the ten of cups on the board that is like ultimate family joy love and happiness with material abundance and like stability and happiness like wild okay so you're getting also <laughs> this is what's worth fighting for this is your dream happiness happiness a family love abundance you can have it but you need to take on the stag energy you need to just trust and thrive and how not just survive i want to say you, you will if you can get yourself into a state of trust you will thrive and you won't have to try and survive yes you won't have to feel like you're just trying to survive if you just get yourself into a state of trust and i'll go back to, i'll go to those two cards i actually think it's a separate message um because i'm noticing all this green over here or in both of these cards. So perhaps maybe you need to be doing some heart chakra healing, energy work. Um, focus on your internal, focus on your emotions, focus on your uh, feminine aspect. <laughs> this is wild. Okay, it does all go together. It does all go together. It's, oh, I see it. I understand now. Okay, so the stag is a very masculine, masculine energy. It's worth, okay, so perhaps stepping into that masculine energy by stepping forward. Um, taking on an, uh, yeah, stepping forward, trusting and believing because of all these antlers, he's divinely guided, he's connected to source. He, 
this uh, the symbol behind him, I can't remember what it's called. Gee, I'm sure you can see it there. Uh, it represents mind, body, spirit. Again, being in that alignment. Okay, that's worth fighting for. The stag energy is also a bit of like a like a horny devil stag energy. <laughs> uh, so that's what that card also represents. Um, and then, if you can see it, these two cards were also part of what's worth fighting for. And I believe... So again, okay, so if you can see, her, she is, this is the high priestess, and she's like, all the energy is facing towards the water guardian, okay? And what this is telling me, now remember water cups, again, that emotional, also psychic realm, uh, uh, submerged, sub, um, okay, so basically, this high priestess, this high priestess is pointing, You this talks about harnessing that intuition, harnessing your mystic powers, comes through the water realm. How you connect with it is, how you connect with your intuition is going to come through in the water realm. Like I said right in the beginning, how do we find our passion? We connect with, we connect with our emotions, okay? What we truly desire. Connecting with your emotions doesn't always have to be like shit look at all those pearls all over her she literally is like full of magic and pearls and happiness and abundance i mean like pearls to me represent gifts big beautiful i mean they're little but they're beautiful they're magical magical gifts they're handcrafted like i want they're not handcrafted but each one is just like so special it's made from a single grain of sand under like pressure it's like so uniquely special and precious i want to say um so in order to connect with this you have to connect with your feminine side so this is very much about like um balancing your masculine and feminine energies again balance that balancing balancing your masculine and feminine feminine energies and balancing like spirituality and practicality and going into that state of contemplation and meditation um is where you'll harness this mystic power is through the water realm and that's where you'll find this magical precious little gem of a pearl like deep dark submerged inside the lower world that is you um and that's how you're gonna get your like happily ever after <laughs> and the advice from spirit is you know what this is so i'm like i don't know where this giddy giggling like i'm so like <laughs> i don't know where this is coming from <laughs> I feel like a kid with a crush. It's so weird. Look how red I'm going. I don't go this red, guys. <laughs> so well. Advice from Spirit. King of Raphael. The Summer Card. And the Two of Gabriel. Okay. This is telling me. This is telling me. That it's okay to trust. It's okay to trust the situation, okay? To follow your creative passions. You can accomplish multiple things. Warm, generous, honorable, and refined. And there's a starfish. Starfishes, starfishes. Oh. Over there, I don't know if you can see it, like, by his tail. Starfishes are representative of, like, regeneration. Regeneration. Gro <laughs> growth. Growth and regeneration, they're beautiful. They're star. They're the dream. They are the wish. They are the star. This, this king of Raphael, maybe it's a water sign that you're into. Because this is another Raphael, you go, you know, you got the king and the ten. Maybe this is this guy that's sitting like here. Yeah, um, <laughs> but it's, 
emotional, romantic, passionate, loving, intuitive as well. And there's two dolphins here, guys. The two dolphins are like, I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. It's like soulmate energy. It's like twin flame energy. <laughs> Just kidding. I love that. That's great. That's, that's so beautiful. <laughs> I don't know why I have such an issue saying twin flame. It just doesn't seem correct. It just doesn't, I don't know. It does, it is, it is. There's twin flames out there for everyone, I'm sure. Or maybe not everyone. Okay, I'm just going to stop now. This is the two of Gabriel. This is the two of wands. This is a passionate idea. A passionate idea. Notice the world up in the corner there. That Archangel Gabriel. Passion maker. The fiery archangel is is talking about your vision someone else perhaps someone else you and someone else sharing a vision of the future the world traveling again i mean look how beautiful they're on like a they're on like a like this uh is that a volcano This energy does feel very, like, ready to erupt. <sighs> oh. <laughs> this is a very holiday card. I mean, look at it. They're walking on a beautiful beach. I can't... Paradise. That is what that I'm thinking of. The word <laughs> English is not for me. <laughs> um, they're walking under a rainbow. It's like two people. It could be old friends. It could be a person that you need to communicate with that you're not communicating with at the moment um that shares your vision of the future it's yeah the advice is communicate with that person this person does share your vision this dream it, there's a rainbow that's magical that's magic there's so much magic in these cards there's so much magic here you just literally look at the bottom of the deck is the six of gabriel big tree big tree is yours <laughs> maybe you guys are going on like a spiritual journey physically out of the out maybe i don't know okay so just make bold and ambitious choices great po progress is possible that's pretty cool and the summer card, which I'm so excited because this is like my, this is like the most beautiful. First of all, first thing, Santaro says that bees, and I agree with her 100%, it makes so much sense because I've always wondered. So they say the bees are disappearing, they're going extinct. But San says the bee, she sees the bees as going into 5D. They're elevating, they're ascending, they're becoming not visible to us in our 3D world anymore because they're there is, they're multi-dimensional and this card speaks about multi -dim well, it makes sense. So I agree with that because bees defy physics, um, just in the way they fly naturally, um, which makes them magical creatures already. And bees are magical. They like, oh, anyway, bees are magical. <laughs> the summer card represents this card being a big yes, yes, yes to any question you have. It's like the sun card. It's a big yes, happy, happy, joyful, like focus on the light. Focus on the sweetness. Focus on where the honey is. Focus on where the honey is. Follow that sweetness. That sweet, that is what you want. That sweet, that giddy feeling I was feeling. <laughs> Weird feeling I was feeling earlier. Feel that. Focus on that because it's coming from your heart. It's coming from the divine. This is like the angel's message to you. The ancestors, God, spirit, source, like that is his message. Just focus on the positive aspects of this situation. <sighs> this is your star. This is your person. It doesn't have to be um, uh, agenda specific. This is uh, masculine or feminine, but this is, yeah, so, the, guys, your energy has me flustered, <laughs> it was so 
great though. I really enjoyed giving you this reading. Thank you so, so much. Um, I hope you have an absolutely incredible day further and you got something out of this. I'm so sorry, by the way, that this video is so 